Hello and welcome back to Brochure's Adventures here on YouTube. My name is Derek Brochure and I wasn't expecting to do this video but since I still have this Airbnb that I'm in for the next few hours, I thought I would uh, take some time to show you the equipment that I use and how I edit my videos and stuff like that. So first of all, the primary camera for my videos is the one that you're looking through right now which is the Sony RX100 Mark IV. Um, it's an incredibly durable camera. I got it about eight months ago, nine months ago beginning of July when it came out and it's been my everyday camera ever since. Uh, it's been dropped, it's been in the rain, under waterfalls, um, and it's still working pretty well. It can shoot 4K video for up to five minutes. Um, it has slow motion up to 960 frames a second, which is totally unnecessary. I only use it on 240, as you've probably seen in some of my videos. It also has a relatively large 1-inch sensor at 20 megapixels and a 1.8 aperture lens, which gives it good low-light capability and amazing picture quality. Uh, almost rivals my DSLR. Speaking of DSLRs, I use the Sony a77, the original one from 2011. Um, and right now I just have the kit lens on it, which is an 18 to 135 that came with the camera. I do have other lenses, but since I travel and my pack is full, I only brought this because it's a, the most versatile lens I could find. This camera is 24 megapixels. It can shoot up to 12 frames a second. This camera is what I shoot most of the photos that I edit in Lightroom. And for more of the adventurous shots, I use the, the GoPro Hero 4 Silver because I like that it has the LCD screen so I can frame up shots when I'm not wearing it on the chest mount or head strap. I do also have a ton of accessories for the GoPro and some stands and stuff like that. The Mi Photo stand that I'm using right now to film this video goes everywhere with me. Um, it's a great stand for travel. It fits in my backpack. And since I don't always take my uh, Sony RX100 with me everywhere, I do use my iPhone 6 to film some of the video or just get different perspectives. For being kind of an all-in-one device, it does have a pretty decent camera on it and I'm satisfied with that. For the clear audio for videos like this, I use the Zoom H1 Handy Recorder and then I have that coupled to a giant squid lapel mic. When I edit my videos, I use Adobe Premiere Pro, Lightroom, and Photoshop, and then I use the Google Nick Photo Collection in concert with Lightroom or Photoshop to help make my pictures stand out. As far as storing all of the images and videos that I accumulate over my travels, I use a Seagate Backup Plus Slim Drives. I generally use two of those and make them mirror copies of each other so that I have a backup just in case I lose any data on one. And last but not least, the computer I use to edit all of my photos and videos is going to be a 2015 MacBook Pro 15 inch, 2.5 gigahertz i7 processor, 500 gigabyte solid state hard drive with 16 gigabytes of RAM. I know it's quite a bit of gear to be carrying around for a budget backpacker, but I really enjoy doing this and I love uh, tinkering with video and photo stuff, so my pack is only going to get more full as time goes on. If you like this video or any of my other videos, please be sure to click the subscribe button below or in the right hand corner of this video. It does help out me and this channel to keep bringing you travel content. Thank you for watching this video and remember you don't have to spend a fortune to have an adventure. So since you're watching this video, you're probably asking yourself what what does the Australian work and holiday visa allow me to do? First of all, it allows you to work for up to 12 months in Australia. It also allows you to study for four, and it is a multiple entry visa, so it allows you to leave and re-